Great here with a T1 Heavy replay today. It is on El Haluf. I actually believe this is my first T1 Heavy replay. I'm actually out of this tank at this point, uh, but I did like it while I was running it. Unfortunately, this is El Haluf, the map we all love to hate. I'm convinced that the, the devs, when they made this map, were trying to recreate that old saying our parents told us. I had to walk uphill both ways to get to school, and I was glad for it. Because here you have to drive uphill both ways to engage the enemy. Anyway, I picked out this replay because I actually have probably one of the most intense fights I've ever had in World of Tanks. And it is because I'm doing what I should be doing, which is, as one of the few heavies on the team, even though I'm not top tier, I'm heading over to the A-1-2 area for the proxy spots and to, uh, to fight around that corner. Here I'm not sure what this PZ-4 is doing. Um, he's got the derp gun on there, so his accuracy sucks, but he feels he can, he can do some damage from uh, C-1 over to A-1. The PZ-4S does come up with me. We lost three tanks uh, over on the Delta down in the J-8 area. Fortunately, we do have TDs over there that are able to hold that line. And here I'm just working my way up to the dreaded corner here on El Haluf. Now the PZ-4S goes wide. He's actually able to start taking shots at the enemy here while I'm still moving up. Gets a nice hit on the Wolverine. Our Artie is concentrating on this corner. I put one into the Wolverine, which cost me the shot on the T-49, which is fine because I've got that narrow shot at the Wolverine, and I hit him twice to take him out. The Stug goes over thinking he's going to be able to take some shots, but our Artie is just pummeling him over there. So I know he's going to be coming back. I edge forward. Uh, I take a shot at the KV-1 to back him off. By this time, the Stug is moving back over, so I wait for him to come across so I can put one shot in him. And with the fast reload on this gun, I'm able to put a second shot over the carcass of the Wolverine. Now the 4S is... Uh, he's dead, but he uh, really damaged that T-49, so I was able to uh, kill him. The Cromwell comes forward. I don't know where he came from, but we play a little peekaboo here. And here I'm zooming out just to see what else is around that corner, and I see that VK-3601. Now there's the T1. I get to get one shot into him, a second shot. I bounce one of his, and that's, oh, on second bounce, and that's when I notice he's not running the top gun, so I could just do whatever I want with him because he's going to be bouncing off me constantly. Fortunately, he backs off behind the uh, wreck of the T49. I'm not able to get through his gun on that wood, but I do eventually get a shot through his observation port. Now the Cromwell decides he's going to come rushing me. I put one into him. Someone behind me tracks him, which annoys me because I wanted to take the ram. That would have killed him, but I do kill him. The VK comes out to support his Cromwell. I track him for his trouble, and me and my allies are able to just whittle him down rather quickly. I don't get this kill, but I'm okay with that as I believe I got the majority of the damage on him. And with that VK dead... All of that's left is that KV-1 on minimal health. I'm able to edge forward, track him so he doesn't uh, back off too far, and then put the finishing shot through his track into his hull. And with that short engagement, there's six of the enemy tanks dead. Now, it looks like I did have some tunnel vision there, and I want to assure you the T1 Heavy that was in the cap circle, I was aware that he was there, but... Uh, during the game, at least, I was aware of him. And I did not want to turn around because I knew my allies would take care of him. Here, I did miss that the, the, the M3 Lee was spotted, and I came around that corner, got the lucky track on him, went for the ram, and then just finished him off. As I was confident he couldn't, couldn't get through my frontal armor. So we're down to three enemy tanks. All we have to do is hunt them down. Now this Hellcat is actually pretty smart. 
he knows I've got the better armor, we're on comparable health, and you see how he speeds up and then he slows down to let me go around the corner first. Really smart of him, because obviously I, I might be able to deflect a shot that he otherwise could not. However, once we spot the T-3485, which should be happening right about here, right about here, oh, I suck at this, there he goes. He gets greedy and uh, one, runs right into the BDR. BDR hits him once, lights him up, and he is dead. Now I noticed the long reload on that BDR, and I figured I should be able to take him. Even after that nasty shot, I figured I had him. So I should put another shot into him, wait for my reload, and bounce. I figure I've got enough time. Nope. Ugh, that reload. Fortunately, my Artie is there to avenge me, and all that's left is tracking down their lone remaining arty who's already spotted and already being killed by the stug anyway that was just an intense match uh which is why I, I wanted to record it and get it up there i hope you did enjoy what you saw and as always the stats for those who care for such a thing will be in the link down below have fun